on this episode, I don't let Felicity get away with it. <laughs> cool. You ask questions and I answer them. This is the Ask Gary V Show. Hey everybody, this is Gary Vay Nerdchuck and this is episode 99 of the Ask Gary V Show. Before we start, follow me, D-Rock. Just follow me, D-Rock, because we just gotta take care of some business. Yep, 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 yep. Felicity, I'm using you as an example. What many may not know is Felicity was sitting a couple seats over. She didn't want to be in the shot, so let this be a lesson to everybody who's gonna run away. If you run from the camera, the camera will find you. Felicity, the camera will find you. All right, we can go back. Um, so that was fun. That was, a good, that was a good tone setter. That's right, Steve. Keep your shit together, Steve. If you run from the camera, the camera will find you. All right, I'm ready. That was a good start, feeling, feeling. That was a solid beginning to the show. All right. Jared asks, where's blogging at these days? I feel like it's not as popular as it was a number of years ago. Jared, great question about blogging. Blo- you know, what's happened with blogging is blogging is massively important. It's just not the thing that people talk about. Not only that, blogging became so big, it became the establishment. I mean, like, if you have a website and you're putting out content on it, you're blogging. And what has also happened is that social networking has, in theory, become the micro version of that blogging. And so now everybody, in theory, as a matter of fact, Twitter was flat out known as a micro blogging platform for many. Zach, can you just show Zach's face? <laughs> I feel, you, you were hacking the show, right? Like you put them on knowing I would respond to that and yeah, then get on camera? Theme. Got it, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, tw- Twitter was known as a micro, micro blogging platform, so I think Facebook and Instagram and, and, and you know Medium, there's platforms that now people are using because what people started understanding was they want exposure. If you're blogging, you want to talk to the world. What people aren't as good at the, uh, at is actually getting people then to come and see that. They were relying on you know, SEO back in the day and things of that nature. What people realize is that people are living in Instagram and in and Pinterest and in Facebook and in Twitter. And so they're now going to the people and blogging there. You know, telling a story in your home when nobody's there is quite lonely and not that interesting. That was what would happen to a lot of people in the blogging sphere, whereas you know, going to town hall and getting on there and grabbing a mic and talking, maybe some people will listen, but maybe that person was better at everybody's talking, everyone's listening. So it's just the evolution. Um, the thesis of people wanting to communicate on the internet hasn't changed. Uh, the formation, uh, the, the, the way it's looked at, the term terminology we use, uh, the new, uh, you know, recarnation of it is just what you're living in right now. Soundspace asks, my business is completely digital, focused on exclusive and shareable content. How important are real life meetings? Soundspace, to me, real life meetings matter because human beings make all decisions, right? Like, so far, thank God, the robots haven't taken over, but it's coming. But, you know, hopefully, I don't think I'll see it, but it's coming. Um, And so, while that's still the case, real life meetings matter because there's just so much context that can be done in human interaction that doesn't happen over digital. You can't map everything. I feel plenty of emotions over Twitter and things of that nature, but the energy in the room is lost, right? Like, the energy in the room is lost, and so, to me, that is the, uh, that is the part that matters so much in the equation of real life. Uh, to me, I always say that digital is a gateway drug. Hey, Kim. Um, d- digital is the gateway drug to the human interaction. You know, as a matter of fact, it's funny, not Andrew who didn't know who the fuck I was, but a lot of the people here on the team, and Zach, but a lot of people here on the team, did you know who I was? When I started the when I started the team. <laughs> that answered that question. Um, uh, you know, there was a gateway drug happening before they got here, which created context, um, but then meeting in real life takes it to a whole nother level. You could work for the company and then you have a whole different context when you're on the team. Um, you know what I mean. Frank asks, how did you meet Willie Morris and what attracted you to Faithbox? 
Frank, you know, <laughs> Willie, uh, Faithbox, I'm an early, early angel investor, true angel investor in both Birchbox and Barkbox and believe in the box of the month business model, especially when you layer media on top of it, which those companies have done well. Um, I really wanted to be in that space and really thought of like, where's the biggest open space? What's a big business to be in in the box space? And you know, and religion is a big business. Uh, um, and so I thought that was fascinating. Um, it was in the back of my mind, I was brainstorming it. Phil, Toronto, who, who's a, uh, a principal at uh, Vayner RSC, um, was, you know, aware of Willie through maybe a girlfriend's girlfriend friend. He, he was leaving uh, Amazon, coming to New York. Um, I take a lot of serendipitous meetings. We sat down, we hit it off. I thought he had the right makeup. Uh, he had great hair, and uh, and uh, we made the move. It was really that's about it. it wasn't super complicated. You know, uh, had an idea, got to know him a little bit. There were some correlations on, on passion around that subject matter. It clicked, and away we go, and he's really kicking it in right now. Uh, Faith Box uh, is really looking on the up. Uh, I'm really excited about that company right now. You know what, I'm gonna throw a right hook. Link it up, D-Rock. What's up, Gary? It's been a minute. Listen, I wanna talk about being selfish. How do you Best to make decisions in your own interest, even though they might negatively affect people around you. That's family, business, personal, friends, anything. Let me know. How you know how long I've known this kid? I think there there may be a video of him business, actually anything. being on Wine Library TV. Really? Like eight, nine years ago. Wow. Okay, play it again. Can you find this? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Who's this kid? Jackson. Up, Gary, it's been a minute. Listen, I want to talk about being selfish. How do you? Best to make decisions in your own interest, even though they might negatively affect people around you. That's family, business, personal, friends. Anything. Great question. Great, 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 great question, Jackson. Um, there's an interesting part of your question. I truly, truly don't think that when I'm being selfish, it's coming at the detriment of somebody else. And so that's how I handle it. You know, in those, I mean, I think I'm always selfish and never selfish. Like it's just, I'm living, I'm living. And so, um, w- you know, the way I justify it a lot of times is I feel like when I'm my, in my most selfish place, it's that I'm doing something that optically looks selfish for me in the short term, but it's actually gonna positively affect the people in the long term and that I'm making a decision that I think I'm right in a five year window versus a five month window and that history will allow uh, that person to feel that it was palpable when they rekindle their thoughts around it even though it might sting or not feel as great in the short term. Crap, I really, you know what? Put in Jackson Fall. Well, oh, you did the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I know I need to Google. It's really not that hard to Google, is it? <laughs> Put in Jackson Fall Wine Library. Uh, Jacob asks, if you could only make one post and then not be able to post again for another year on any platform, what would your post be? That's a great question. Who's this from? Jacob. Jacob. Two things went through my mind fast. Literally, you know, I think fast. So as India is asking the question, I was like, okay, first one was gonna say, I love you. And then the second one, it's, this is really, this may be the, you know what? We need to really think about this. This might be the question that most sums me up. As you ask that question, the first reaction was, I love you. The second reaction is, what call to action do I want? Which is like, buy my book, or like download my show, or I'll promise I'll be back, so sign up for my email newsletter. It was literally, 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 literally the two most polar opposite thoughts, and that, my friends, sums it up. That's insane, because that was literally the two things. But you know what makes me feel good? Now that I rewind this, I thought I love you first before, and then I. <laughs> so I, st- I still think I'm fifty. I still think I'm fifty-one percent good guy. Action to your website, and then you put for the rest of the. Year. Ooh, you're a real growth hacker, Steve Unwin. Uh, question of the day: uh, What would be the one thing you would post on a social networks on all your social networks if it was the only thing you could say for a year? You keep asking questions. I'll keep answering them. Cool. Intro? Yeah. Um, yeah, we talked about... Oh, you know what, real quick. I know you're gray and now we're back to black and white. Real quick, before we, uh, before we uh, close this show out, if you're still with me. Um, do we have all the information for episode 100 down? Is, uh, like, we're feeling tight, is everybody feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, like, a pe- couple people, pink, the four-year-old kid is coming. 
<laughs> right, yeah. a- Aeson, yeah. say it right, Aeson, oh, Aeson, sorry, Aeson. Um, right, because it's Jason, got it with it right, Aeson. Uh, everything else is good? Yeah, everything else Feeling is good. Feeling solid? The, the Facebook uh, invite will, is up to date. Good. See you Monday. <laughs> <laughs>